in a live stream with Nathan Oakley and Tenth Man. This text was shown when Tenth Man tried to explain how sextant navigation works on a flat earth. Basically, it says that if you measure the zenith angle to be 40 degrees, the distance from the observer to the GP equals 40 times 60 nautical miles, that is 2400 nautical miles. So Tenth Man's claim is that you can use the 60 nautical miles per degree as a valid formula for calculating your distance to the GP of a star when navigating with a sextant on a flat earth. Let's analyze this. Let's take a zenith me measurement of 45 degrees to make the math a little easier. The distance from the observer to the GP of the star will be 45 times 16 nautical miles, which comes down to 2700 nautical miles. Because of the 45 degrees, the triangle is an equilateral triangle. So the vertical distance from the GP to the star will also be 2700 nautical miles. Now we take a second measurement at a distance of 2700 nautical miles from the first. So we are at 5400 nautical miles from the GP. The measurement will be 63.435 degrees because the inverse tangent of 2700 over 5400 equals 26.565 degrees. Subtract that from 90 degrees and you get 63.435 degrees. Using the 60 nautical miles per degree, the calculated distance to the GP would be 3806 nautical miles. However, we are at 5000 400 nautical miles from the GP. This means that you cannot use the 60 nautical miles per degree in navigating with a sextant on a flat earth. Since trigonometry cannot provide for any prof formula to calculate the length of a side of a triangle with the input of only one value, you have no distance to the GP. You need the distance to the GP and since you cannot calculate it on a flat earth, you cannot navigate with the sextant on a flat earth.